Hello, and welcome to our tips and tricks video for setting up your experiment and analyzing results from the Applied Biosystems TACMAN SARS-CoV-2 mutation panel. Let's get started. Tip number one, how to set up genotyping analysis in your instrument software. It is vital to use the genotyping experiment type in order to do performance analysis of the TACMAN SARS-CoV-2 mutation panel. In this example, we're using the instrument software for the Applied Biosystems Quant Studio 5 real-time PCR system. Select Create New Experiment. Under Priorities, create a name for your experiment, and then select your instrument type and your block type. Under Experiment Type, use the drop-down menu to change from Standard Curve to Genotyping. Keep the chemistry at TACMAN Reagents and run Mode at Standard. Tip number two. How to set up your method with a reverse transcription step. Click on Method at the top of the screen to set up your method. When setting up the thermal profile, you must add a reverse transcription step. To do this, add an additional hold stage by hovering over the current hold stage and clicking the plus button. This is your reverse transcription step. Set this step to 50 degrees by clicking on the temperature and typing in 50. The step's time should be 10 minutes. If it's not, Click on the time and change it to 10. Continue to enter the thermal profiles as recommended in the protocol. Tip number three, how to select real-time data in the genotyping analysis settings. Once your experiment is complete, it is time to analyze the data. The analysis of the TACMAN SARS-CoV-2 mutation panel is done in Applied Biosystems Design and Analysis Software 2.5 or later with the genotyping analysis module. This analysis software is used no matter what real-time PCR instrument you used. Import your run files by clicking on Open File. Browse to where your file is saved and open it. To begin, select the drop-down arrow on the Actions button and choose Genotyping Analysis Settings from the menu. In the Settings box, check the box next to Real-Time Data along the top and click Apply. It will automatically analyze when you click Apply. The first tab open is Quality Check where you have all of the different amplification curves. The tab we will use for analysis is the Genotyping tab. Tip number four, how to view results and read cluster plots. Click on Genotyping along the top menu. Here you will see a cluster plot, which is how to view results from the TACMAN SARS-CoV-2 mutation panel. If you ran more than one assay, select your mutation of interest using the drop-down menu next to SNP assay. In this example, we will choose the N501Y mutation. What you see here is very clear discrimination in the cluster plot between the wild-type samples and the mutation samples. All the samples investigated that have the N501Y mutation have clustered along the y-axis, shown here in blue. All the samples that have the wild-type or reference sequence have clustered along the x-axis, shown here in red. This concludes our tips and tricks video. To learn more about the TACMAN SARS-CoV-2 mutation panel or for more in-depth analysis videos, visit thermofisher.com slash mutation panel.